My name is Jared Davis, a proud Miami native, and I'm also the managing partner for the Miami office of Greenberg Troik. We're an international law firm, 1,950 attorneys, but we're also headquartered and founded in Miami. We've had a emerging technologies practice group for some time, and we're proud to see the growth, and we're proud to play a role in this wonderful tech ecosystem that's been exploding in Miami-Dade County. Well, you know, it's funny, Miami's always had an entrepreneurial flavor. And I think a lot of that could track back to our history. You know, it's always been a town of uh, immigrants, a town of folks coming in from elsewhere. And I think people with that kind of background have an entrepreneurial flavor to them. And so it makes sense that now we've had that explosion. Now, what do we offer? We offer connectivity. Um, basically, any kind of ecosystem you see out there has a connectivity of mentors, of service providers, sources of capital, et cetera. And Miami has developed that over the years. So if you are a, a startup, you're not alone. The one thing that kills startups is isolation. They need to be with other startups. They need to be with peers. They need to be with mentors. And right now, Miami has built that ecosystem so that they can thrive. I would say that our two biggest sources of challenge tend to be um, access to capital as well as collaboration with universities. We have them. We have VCs. We have private equity. We have actually very strong crop of angels, but we can always use more. Uh, so I say that's one. And then the second one is we're blessed with some phenomenal education institutions. But I would say to strengthen those ties among those institutions and the, the connectivity between them and the startup community could be stronger. Events like Emerge America has accomplished two goals. Number one is a marketing goal. It, it tells the story, it evangelizes. So the beauty of events like Emerge is it lets the world know that these amazing technologies, these amazing solutions are being generated. Also, it provides connection. So it brings everyone together because once again, entrepreneurs are very busy people, their sources of capital are very busy people. It provides a one-stop shop that allows everyone to come together and collaborate. Digital healthcare has been interesting. Uh, understand, South Florida is an interesting healthcare market. Most healthcare markets are driven by one of two verticals, either the geriatric component or the pediatric component. Miami-Dade County has both. So because of that, we're blessed to have a number of, of first-class um, health institutions. We've got Jackson Health Systems, Baptist Health Systems, uh, Miami Children Health Systems. These health systems are at the cutting edge. And so part of that is digital health. How do you have that nexus of IT and healthcare to provide better service to your patients and better clinical outcomes in terms of how you process the data? So as we speak, there's innovations in telemedicine, there's innovations in data warehousing, and a variety of other areas to improve these outcomes. I think it's gonna be sunny. Um, I think, you know, somebody just used an expression I hadn't heard before, and they said, Miami itself is being incubated. And I think that's so true. Uh, I think that, you know, the last five years have been remarkable for this jurisdiction. I think we're starting to see results. Uh, we haven't even talked about Magic Leap, the amazing things that company's doing. Uh, everything we're seeing, we're gonna see some interesting, interesting results from it. Uh, there'll be some who don't make it. That's the nature of the ecosystem. That's the nature of entrepreneurship. But in a macro sense, I think that the, the city, the jurisdiction is going to keep increasing and keep rising.